In this video, we're taking a closer look at the Power BI Profit and Loss template from Accounting Insights and how you can use it to display your income statement or profit and loss statement as a percentage of sales instead of the actual amounts. Firstly, let's just remind ourselves what we're looking at. We're looking at the main profit and loss page in the Power BI Profit and Loss template and we've selected uh, to see June 20, fiscal year 2022, uh, year to date. So we're looking at the three months to June 2021, and we're comparing that against the previous year. So comparing it against the three months to June 2020. On the left-hand side, we can see the actuals. We can see the actuals as a percentage of total sales. We can see the previous year amounts and the variance against the previous variance of the actual against the previous year. The color coding is the highlighting. The color coding is based on the variance. So the higher the variance, the greener it gets. The lower the variance, the redder it gets. And no, no variance is, is no shading. We can see from the variance waterfall chart in the middle that we've got improvements in sales, purchases, and direct expenses. And we've taken a bit of a hit on overheads. But overall, the impact on the profit and loss for the three months year to date compared to three months last year is is positive but that doesn't tell the whole picture and a, a simple technique to reveal perhaps some hidden detail is to look at this as a percentage of sales instead of actuals so within the power bi profit and loss template we have a percentage of sales button and we can choose to switch the calculation from absolute to percentage of sales. So if I choose to flick that over, um, firstly, what we can see is in in our main chart, we've got the actual we've got the actual as a percentage of total sales, and now we've also got the previous year as a percentage of total sales in the previous year for the previous period. If you look first at the profit and loss variance by nominal group. We're now looking at the variance as a percentage of sales. And we can see, again, like before, we've got improvements on the purchases and direct expenses, but we can see that we have taken a hit on overheads. And what this means actually is that our overheads as a percentage of sales are up compared with the same period in the previous year. And if I choose to select the overheads, that'll filter the main uh, profit and loss report and I can see how that's broken down so I can see overall that uh, my overheads this year as a percentage of sales this year to date are 35% compared with 19% in the same previous same period last year and that's not even evenly split of course across all the overheads and I can see the big hit has come from gross wages where Year to date, I'm, I'm showing 21% versus 13% for the same period last year. Now, if you want to see a little bit more, more detail behind that, I can go to the monthly tab, and this is going to retain the percentage of sales calculation that I selected in, in the uh, bottom right-hand corner. And now the highlighting is highlighting the variances by months as a percentage of sales. And I can see straight away the problem that we've got is that uh, our gross wages for May were 27% of sales compared with the previous year of 13%. And that's where the big variance has come from in terms of the uh, gross wages and the overheads. So that's just a very simple way of drilling down on your profit and loss report and maybe analyzing it from a, another perspective. And particularly if your sales are varying quite a lot, it can provide you with a useful insight into where actually the underlying improvements are or disimprovements are.